In this video, I will show you how to add Roblox to Steam on a PC or laptop. So in order to do this, the first thing you're gonna to want to do is open up Steam. And then from here, you just want to come down to the bottom left-hand corner and you're gonna see this add a game option down here. So what you wanna do is give that a click and then you want to add the non-Steam game option. So once this is done, it's gonna load up all the apps on your PC. Now what should happen is Roblox should be showing up here. You can see that's showing up here. But if any reason that's not showing up, then what you can do is actually click onto the browse button down here. And then what you wanna do is go through and find this on your drive. So once you've located the Roblox player, whether that's here or by browsing through your file explorer, what you then want to do is click this and click add selected programs. And you'll see what's gonna happen. This is going to add it in the list on the left hand side. So when I actually click onto this, it's actually very basic, but we can actually customize this. So you can do this if you want to. And all you want to do is basically right click onto Roblox player. And then what you want to do is come down and click onto properties. So from here, you can change this. You can actually change this to say just Roblox, for example, and then just go ahead and cross this off. That's going to change it to Roblox. And if you actually right click here, you can actually set a custom background. So what you can do is actually put any picture you want here. Of course, you can do like a Roblox themed one if you want to. So once that's done, one obviously once you go ahead and play, that's going to let all your friends on Steam know that you are playing Roblox and they'll be able to join in games with you. And if at any point you do want to remove this from your library, all you need to do is simply click onto Roblox, right click, come down to manage, and then you want to go remove non-Steam game from your library. So I hope this video helped you out today, and if it did, I'd really appreciate it if you dropped a like on the video, and make sure you do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest tips, tricks, and tutorials for everything tech and digital related. With that being said, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you in the next tutorial.